after you make the purchase of your first domain you're going to be taken to the thank you for your order screen and they'll show you some special deals here and again if this is something that you can afford I say go ahead and do it you can get up to like a 15 percent discount on your next purchase so they have you know services like website tonight uh, it'll talk to you about email if you want to add email all, all sorts of other things that you may want to take advantage of but again if you stick with this series I'm going to show you exactly what it is that you need to buy and what you need to avoid so one of the things that I want to show you is when it says to log in to begin using your products you want to click that after you've purchased your domain and you're going to see all the new things that you now get um, as a GoDaddy affiliate in this case I want to show you how you can set up your email so I'm gonna go to my products and what you can do if you're logged into your account you just click over here on the left hand side where it says my products and you go to email great thing about GoDaddy is when you buy a domain you get tons of free extras and one of those extras is that you get an email account that actually comes along with the purchase so in this case I'm going to go where it says a email a free email with the domain which is a personal email and you get up to a gigabyte in one box and you can use a credit that you have available so for every domain that you buy you get a credit so I'm gonna click use credit and when I do that it's gonna open up a screen here over on on the left on the right hand side it's gonna open up a screen and ask me which domain do I want to use to set up my free email account since I just purchased the bootstrapping without boots dot com address I'm going to click that and then click continue and when I click continue it's going to the page is going to refresh and then it's going to show me among the list of all the other email accounts that I have it's going to let me know that that email has been successfully added and that just means that the account has been added not that the email itself has been set up so the page is going to refresh again and then when it refreshes I'll need to scroll down to that particular one where it says new account and then I click where it says setup account when I do that it's going to open up a email domain manager program it's very simple very easy to use and I'm going to show you how you can add an email address so it's going to have it's going to say you have new or unused email plans and you want to add an address which is the very first thing at the top and you'll click add an address when you click add an address you're going to see the one that you just added in this case for me it's bootstrapping without boots and I'm going to click add when I do that it's going to open up a window that asks me to create a mailbox so what I like to do is create a general mailbox which will end up being a catch-all mailbox which means that it'll catch everything that's sent to the domain bootstrapping without boots um, it, it'll catch all the um, anything that's, that's sent to that so here I'm gonna set up the email address to be info at bootstrapping without boots dot com and then if there's a box here where it says make this a catch-all and I wanna click yes and if you wanna learn what a catch-all is you'll click where it says what it is but I'll tell you very briefly what it is it is where in this case I'm setting up the email address to be info at bootstrapping without boots dot com but since it's a catch-all address if someone were to send me an email and they were to send it at say sales at bootstrapping without boots dot com it's still gonna come to this email address so as a catch-all that means that it catches all email that's sent to that domain so I'm gonna continue with this process by setting up my password and after I set my password I'm gonna click OK and then I'm going to get a it's gonna show me where the account that I just set is pending setup now depending on what time of the day that you set this up it might take a minute it might take you know a couple of minutes for it to refresh and actually be available so I'll come back when the account is actually set up it took a little less than five minutes for it to actually be set up and when you know that it's ready and set up it will say active it'll change from saying pending setup to active and when it says active you can just come over here to the right hand panel and look under where it says actions and click launch webmail and that's gonna take you to where you can go to log into your new email account when the new window opens up you enter in the email address that you just set up along with the password then click login and once you log in you will see the inbox of your very new email account and so far it's only cost you seven dollars and sixty seven cents